My name is Scott Denkel and I'm in the exercise science program. My area of expertise is in uh, adaptations to resistance exercise. Uh, so more specifically, uh, I do a lot of blood flow restrictive exercise. So we'll place pneumatic cuffs, kind of like blood pressure cuffs at the top of people's either arms or legs. And what that does is it artificially restricts blood flow to the limb. Um, and people can lift much lighter weights and see benefits similar to as if they were lifting heavier weights. So hopefully this, this research has an impact on one, getting people to rehab quicker from injuries. So when people are rehabbing from an ACL injury or whatever injury it might be, they typically can't lift heavier weights right away. Uh, so if we can get them to lift some type of weight and augment the adaptations that they would get to that exercise, uh, then they can probably rehab and, and get back to full health quicker. A favorite day of the week for me now is probably a day that I actually get some human interaction in person. Probably on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have one class of uh, exercise physiology that people show up to the in-class session. And I think the, the fact that there's only three students that are in person and everyone else is learning from home, I think it's, it's a benefit in the way that before and after class, there's much more interaction with those few students because there's, there's only a couple students that you can really talk to in person. We think that we have all of this knowledge on what exercise does, um, but a lot of it might be more genetically related than actually the benefits of exercise. So I think there's a huge avenue of future research looking at what exercise actually does long term.